What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over The Devil's Lair, Master Nightfall, Season of the Lost. This one's pretty easy, um, but let's take a look at the loadout. So for this particular Nightfall, I'm going to be running my Mr. Freeze build. Um, you can check out that video up in the top right. Um, but uh, it'll uh, entail using the Warlock and the Shade Binder. Um, fragments are going to be using Whisper of Bonds, so defeating frozen targets gives us super energy. Whisper of Fissures increases the damage and size of the Burst of Stasis when you destroy a, a frozen target. Whisper of Rhyme, collecting stasis shards, grants you a small overshield. Um, and then Whisper of Conduction, which will allow the stasis shards just to uh, track over to you. Um, you know, I really like the Whisper of Rhyme in this higher end content. Um, it makes it really nice to get that overshield just a little more tanky. Um, aspects, of course, I've got Bleak Watcher, so I can have the turrets out there. And, of course, for the uh, other one, I'm going to have Glacial Harvest, so I get those stasis shards. And for the rest of the team composition, we'll be running a Revenant Hunter and also a Well Warlock, um, just to kind of give us an overall well-rounded build and uh, give us some good ad clear and just kind of progress through quickly. Now let's go through our weapons. Now of course, I'll be using the Aegir Scepter, um, as it's the core of the Mr. Freeze build. Um, if you don't have the Catalyst yet, the Catalyst states that once your super is full, you can long press square, and it'll drain your super, overflowing the magazine and empowering the beam with bonus damage and the ability to slow and freeze. Which is really nice. Um, you know, normally with Aegir Scepter, it doesn't slow and freeze until you get that first kill. But when you have the perk active, uh, it's, it allows you to freeze and slow things as you go. The damage on that is about an 80% increase, which is quite nice. It's a nice bump. And then when you, um, you know, pair it with a Well or with Font of Might, it really does a nice job. Um, I'm also using an, uh, a Shadow Price for the Arc Shields, and I'll have the Reed's Regret as my heavy. Um, now, as far as uh, armor mods, um, I'll be running a well system, so I'll have Well of Life. Um, picking up solar elemental wells grants you an increased regeneration for a short period of time, um, and we'll be producing those solar wells with the fire and ice mod. Um, on the arms, I'm going to have elemental armaments, which states that when I uh, get uh, weapon takedowns with a weapon matching my subclass, I'll produce um, wells, which will be stasis wells. I've also got the anti-barrier um, uh, rockin' um, so I can help support with that. Um, our, our mantle of battle harmony is our exotic for this particular run. Um, it states that takedowns with weapons that match your damage type um, will give you super energy, and then while your super energy is full, you gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage. Um, Synergize is really nice with Aegir Scepter, um, and then of course we'll have the Font of Might as our um, armor mod on there. And I have a sniper resist. Um, I would suggest if you have a arc chest piece to run that, um, as there's a lot of incoming arc and environmental damage on this particular one. Um, but I didn't want to spend the materials and turn it to arc, so I'm just going to have to sacrifice that. Uh, on my legs, I'll have Well of Potency, picking up a matching elemental well grants you super energy. Um, and then I've also got the um, Trace Rifle Scavenger, just so I can keep that Aegir Scepter loaded and full. On our class item, I'll have Fire and Ice, I'll have Focusing Lens, and I'll have Resonance Siphon. Um, the Focusing Lens is really nice with, paired with the Well, because as anything that's affected by Stasis, then your uh, weapons will count as the um, Light subclass uh, damage. Now, this does not work with Stasis weapons, so make sure that you are um, being mindful of that. So if you're running maybe a Reed's Regret, and see if you can get to maybe a Threaded Needle instead, um, just to help bump that up. But for the Masters, I wasn't too worried about it. Um, you know, I'll just take advantage of it with my Shadow Price. Now, as far as uh, my teammates' weapons, um, we've got Eternal rocking a TQ's Divination with a Scout Rifle, and we've got Styles rocking a Le Monarch uh, with an Auto Rifle for the Anti-Barrier as well. Um, Eternal's got a Trace Rifle, and Styles has a Arc uh, machine gun in his uh, slot. Um, as far as the rest of the modifiers, it does have match games, so make sure that you got that rainbow um, as you'll encounter all three shields in this one, but mostly solar and arc. Um, the void shields are just on the, the tiny servitors at the end. All right, so as we fly in, um, you'll see that uh, we're going to jump right onto our sparrows and just kind of power through. Um, you know, occasionally you'll get 
uh, someone that gets taken out um, and killed on their sparrow. Um, but just it's just the quickest way to get through it. Um, and the GMs, you can do the same method, or you can um, just kind of clear enemies to the left and then roll that way. Um, but for the masters, it's not hitting it quite as hard, so you can kind of just roll right through it. Um, as you get to the end, there's going to be an overload champion, and we'll just uh, quickly dispatch him and then uh, progress to the next area. Now, the other thing I forgot to mention was that one of my uh, teammates is also running the particle deconstruction so that we can take advantage of that extra damage for our uh, linear fusion rifles. Um, all right, we got him down. Now we're going to progress to the next room where you encounter Fallen and Hive as well as an anti-barrier. Um, pretty easy here. I'll just chuck um, my grenade out, get the turret going, use an agar scepter to really just kind of clean everything up. And now we'll just progress up here to get uh, the champions down. Um, you can see I'm getting those um, overshield crystals as we uh, continue to freeze things, which is really nice. Um, and uh, if you are low in health, it'll actually regenerate your health until you get your health bar full, and then you'll get the uh, overshield on top of that. Um, it does continually refresh, so the more shards you pick up, the more shields, overshields you can get. Um, there is a, a, a slight cooldown on Glacial Harvest. Once you um, have reached a certain amount of shards, um, then you'll get a quick 10 second cooldown. But overall, really nice perk, um, and I think it does really nicely in the uh, PvE content, the high-end stuff, because it just allows you to survive a little bit more. You'll see here, I'll just try and use um, the uh, Aegir Scepter in its final form. But unfortunately, arc damage is melting me. And again, make sure you have an arc chest piece. Um, I will be out there in those lost sectors hunting for another uh, battle, mantle of battle harmony so I can have that arc. So after you clean out all of uh, the shields and all of the uh, ads here, um, we will progress everything else from this room on the train side. Um, we just find it to be the easiest. Um, you can plant your well down and really just post up and funnel all of the ads to yourself. Um, the, really the only problematic things in this room are the shielded enemies. Um, all of the shanks and the masters are shielded with solar, so make sure your TQ's um, user is really uh, on top of that because they can kind of swarm over you as much as you can. And then for those that have long range weapons, watch out for the vandals that come up on the top left. Um, again, those uh, arc damage is no joke in this. All right, here comes the shanks. And in this particular room, it's basically three phases. Uh, each time you get to the end of a phase, you'll have the um, shanks come back in. Um, after you get rid of those ones on the second phase, you'll have uh, another round of uh, fallen. And then after that, you'll have a round of hive. Um, as far as uh, super usage, um, we like to save the well for the, um, the hive uh, round because they do pop right in front of you. Um, and we'll also pop uh, the Revenant right here too, just to help clean up um, you know, everything and keep it progressed. Uh, once you get the witches down, you will have um, two knights and an uh, unstoppable knight pop in, and that's when we'll use our well. Um, just making sure you're popping those shields, and then you just kind of progress through really easy. Really, really nice. You can see from the gameplay here that, you know, I do get my super back really quick here. Um, the weapon takedowns plus the uh, elemental wells really do a nice job. Um, and then, of course, any of the frozen targets um, does a really nice job, too. And between the Revenant Hunter and, um, you know, my freezing abilities, you know, it's pretty easy to uh, get frozen targets up there. Overall, not too bad. We'll clean up the last of these overloads um, and then clean up this room and then we'll progress on to the next room. And you will notice that uh, we'll have Eternal out there um, finishing as many champions as possible cause as he is running the Aeon Swifts with his uh, Hunter so he can produce uh, heavy ammo for us, um, which is really nice. That way it allows you to just kind of um, use your heavy whenever you need to and uh, not have to worry about ammo uh, economy. Um, overall, um, really nice uh, support um, for your team. 
right, as we finish off this room, we head to um, the next room, which is just uh, going to be one overload and a few fallen, and then we get to the tank area. Now, the tank area can be, um, you know, problematic for some. It's definitely um, kind of an ammo eater, um, but it's much easier now that you have unlimited primary ammo. Um, last season we didn't have that. This is the area when you would end up running out of scout ammo and running out of all your primary, but um, this way uh, is a lot nicer now. Um, we like to lead off with the Revenant here and really get into the um, anti-barrier quickly. I'll use Agar Scepter um, just to really kind of clean it up really quick. Um, and then we'll clean up the adds and the snipers. Um, and then we'll start working the brigs and uh, just kind of progress ourselves through. Um, the linear fusion rifles, by the way, are extremely strong at taking out the tank. Um, and you can just do it from a distance and really won't have any problems with it. You'll see just how quickly that tank does go down. Just does a really nice job overall. So as we start progressing through, we'll just uh, again clean up the rest of these brigs and just do what we can to just kind of tear these things up. Uh, I wanted to show you what Agers can do against the brig. That does a really nice job with that uh, uh, perk activated uh, at taking those things down. The nice thing with the two bows here as well is that the uh, um, overloads really get taken out really nicely. La Monarch keeps them stunned and TQs is really great for ad clear and keeping them stunned as well. So um, as we progress to the boss room here, we'll do it from the left. Uh, as you come in, there's going to be two overloads and a few fallen. We'll just kind of take those out. Um, we'll lead off with the well once we get these down, um, just to get the boss into his first uh, shield phase and spawn the ads, and then we'll just kind of progress through, and it's kind of rinse and repeat, um, kind of uh, finish off the rest of the gameplay here, but overall, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do like this content, please give me a subscribe and a like. Thank you very much. Good hunt, Guardians. Watch those solar shields. Start working the purple guys. Let's just see what I can do. Get the other one, the other purple. Oh shit, exploder. Grab me. It's not that aggressive out here. Just get those freaking solar shields, goddamn. What the fuck? <coughs> I'm about to change this thing to an arc. Uh, you got a bunch of solar shields coming in through the tunnel, too. Don't worry about me, I'm up. Okay, 
over behind you. Well, if you got it. He's above us. He should be out. Well done. Yep, he's over here. He's frozen. Two of them. He's down. Get the one over here. God, this thing is so fucking sick. Oh, Lord. Solar, bunch of solar shields. No worries. Oh, I got killed behind. I think the solar shields all got frozen. Oh, there's some across the way. Are you getting the overload over here? Okay. Yeah, I killed him. There's still an arc boy. I'm gonna get him here in a second. I'm just trying to get this fucking ammo. Arc shield down across the way. Start working whichever one. Yeah, that one. Okay, one's down. Okay, that one's down. Solar shields. Pop your well right now. I'm telling you. <sighs> Kai's got a shirt on that one. Did we not get platinum? I guess we might have. What's the time on that one? 22 minutes? I think it can go way faster. Let's see if we can get one under 20 minutes. I think we're in good shape now. Styles, are you finding you still have plenty of ammo for your heavy?